Greetings to one and all. I am your hostess for this program. My name is Miss Vanessa Pautan and I am the agronomist for the Southeast Trinidad. Our topic today will be focused on white flies, a detrimental pest that affects our farmers and how we can control this pest. So stay tuned ladies and gentlemen as we jump right into the program. Hi guys, it's Vanessa here. Thanks for staying tuned. Today we are talking all about white flies and how they are such a pest to watermelon farmers. Uh, white flies are scientifically known as the Mesia tabaki and they pose a very big threat to my watermelon farmers across the country. Uh, what white flies really do, they suck the cell sap from the leaves of the plants and just this alone can cause a series of symptoms the cell sap uh, sucking when there are high insect populations can cause a mottling in the leaves or a crinkle in the leaves but more importantly white flies are a vector for transmitting viruses to our plants and in watermelon production we have the mosaic type viruses that causes a series of symptoms similarly to how the dengue mosquito would be a vector for the uh, dengue virus in humans white flies are the vector for the mosaic virus in watermelons and in cucumbers as well as other cucurbit crops like cantaloupes and musmelons so today i'm just going to show you guys the damages uh, white flies have been doing and we have this plant here is, is showing us some viral symptoms we can see a reduction in the leaf size we can see mottling in the leaves as well uh, yellow discoloration uh, sort of intervenal chlorosis and we see the plant is under stress. We can clearly see that, ladies and gentlemen. I am very sure we have white flies. We have had a white fly infestation in this field. And we must see, here you are seeing, one one white flies. The farmer did an application just recently. But you'll still be able to see uh, white flies. However, for the virus, the virus in uh, watermelons can really cramp our yield and our production. We have a product known as virus stop that actually stops the virus in its track and it prevents the virus from spreading to other uh, parts of the plants. So it works in many different ways. I will do a virus stop uh, program for you guys and get a little more technical with it. But today we are going to just talk about how to control the white flies so after transplanting you can do uh, drench applications with a product we have known as protect you can also use Sevanto prime very effective for white flies to help keep the white flies off the plants from the a young stage foliar applications can be done as well with combinations such as uh, your Capridan Advance or your Aramite. Aramite is a new product we have on the market. It's one of my favorites. It's very effective. It has a uh, lot of different modes of action. It is ovicidal. It kills eggs. It stuns the different stages of the insect population and it attacks all stages. It also has a repellent action so it keeps the white flies away from your field. They don't want to come back in there when they, they pick up the Aramite scent. Aramite is actually uh, derived from clove oil and cinnamon oil. So it has a distinctive scent to it, like cinnamon and clove. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, for any other questions on why flies, a uh, pest that pierces and sucks the cell sap from your plant leaves and transmits deadly viruses to our plants that by extension can affect our yields. We need to control white flies, identify and control them. 
So for any other questions, please feel free to call us at 638 Group. So our in-house agronomists will be willing to assist.